Oh, hey, boss. What can I do for you? What's going on in there? Well, you know, I'm just getting my uh, Gaga on, playing a little Call of Duty 4. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Go. We have a new graphics card coming out, the EVGA GeForce GTX 295 Co-op Edition. And I'm looking for some suggestions on how we can get the word out about this new product. Hmm. Get the word out about the new 295 Co-op. Hmm. Hi, Agent Tiny here for EVGA with the new improved GTX 295 Co-op Edition. Don't get frustrated with imitators. Stop spending hundreds on inferior product. It has the power to play the latest video games, overclock, and play HD movies. EVGA does twice the work in half the time. 295 has the power to remove soap scum. EVGA 295 will not stick to any cooking surface. And it's safe for pets and children. EVGA is number one because they get the job done. Hello? Agent Tiny, wake up. No, never mind, I'll do it myself. Here it is, the EVGA GTX 295 Co-op Edition. So the first question you probably have is, how does this card differ from the previous EVGA GTX 295? And the answer is the layout of the components on the card. It is a little bit different, and we'll show you that in just a second. Other than that, the performance is identical. You can see that it does have the same power connectors, an 8-pin and a 6-pin. So here it is, the EVGA GTX 295 Hydro Copper Water Block. You can see if we open it up, it has a high flow interior and it has the patented E-flow design. It actually has 30 of the small E's which helps transfer the heat uh, from the GPUs to the water. It travels over both of the GPUs and the memories and EVGA does include both the half inch and three eighths inch barbs which are also high flow. So this is the ultimate solution for those of you who want to cool your graphics card down. It cuts the GPU operating temperatures by about in half. So pretty remarkable drop there. So thanks again for watching. For more information on this product, please visit our website at www.evga.com or be a part of our community at forums.evga.com. If you have any questions or have suggestions for a future product video, send me an email at jacobf at evga.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.